Hey everybody, Josh the RV Nerd down here at Advantage One today with a 2,095 pound, I don't know if it ever got used more than once or twice, 108 ST Coachman Clipper pop-up. And this might surprise you because we don't carry them down at Halet RV, but Clippers, Coachman pop-ups, they're actually one of my favorite pop-ups out there. I think pound for pound they might be one of the very best. And I say that because they do they're not exactly the lightest weight. They're not exactly the least expensive. I think that they're one of the smartest, sm I was gonna say smartest or smartly, I, I didn't decide which one, so instead I said nah. but <laughs> I, I think they're a smart pop-up. They do things like a hybrid camper where they have the uh, the cable supported bed in, so there's no poles. It's funny, our, our consignment manager was trying to set this up. He goes, Josh, I, I can't find the poles. I'm like, <laughs> there are none, that's why it's not sinking. Um, they're laminated bed ends to help keep you a little bit more comfortable, you know, so if it's a little chilly outside, there's a little bit of a thermal barrier. We'll get into more of that as we go, but man, this is sharp. I can't, I can't find anything uh, other than a little storage dust that, that needs any attention. It needs a light dusting and hit the road, Jack. Inside here, it is clean, warm, and welcoming. Like I said, at worst, it needs a dusting just because it's been in storage and doesn't appear to have enjoyed a lot of use. That's the worst that I'm able to come up with this thing. Uh, you see all the original owner's manuals. Down below here, we have a propane furnace, three-way refrigerator, 12 volt, 110, and uh, propane. Now, that is an absorption fridge. That's not a compressor active fridge like you see me talk about in a lot of our new videos at Halet RV. So on 12 volt, 110, and propane, in order, that means cold, colder, and coldest operation. Now that is an access point to that front trunk right there. And this right here is just a big chunk of storage, which you could easily, uh, like it's sized intentionally to be like porta potty storage if you wanna do something like that. Um, I'm eyeballing it a little bit here. I believe we have 60 by 80 queen front and rear beds. If that's not correct, I'll try to put a little correction on the screen for you. They are heated mattresses, very similar to the Rockwood pop-ups that we carry. Uh, this one was already, it was the zip tie was still on it. I don't think it ever got used. Like I said, I think maybe one of the beds has been used. Now I noticed there are bunk light fan combos and it's very possible I'm just an idiot. Well, no, I mean, I am a little bit of an idiot, but in this instance, I don't, I didn't see where these plug in. So somebody smarter than me hid the plug somewhere. Uh, I, I can't imagine they were included with the pop-up without the ability to be plugged in, naturally. Uh, <coughs> sitting on the front bed, you can sleep on it. Rear bed, you can sleep on it. Sofa slides open, you can sleep on it. Dinette folds down, you can sleep on it. You can bed, you can nap the crap out of this thing. <laughs> You, you can do so much bedding in here. It's, it's, it's bedtacular. Storage below that entire thing. That's a slide open uh, traditional gaucho style, by the way. Um, flipping over here, you might notice we're carpetless. We're easy cleaning. I think the only thing I would do to this RV is I would swap out those uh, metallic legs right there for a set of folding legs to get a free floating table. Now you notice both back cushions are over there. Uh, I've just, I don't know, it's just kind of an idea that that popped into my head. There is a backer that flips up right here to hold the back cushion in place, but I kind of like it a little bit in that sort of open, loungy space. I think that it makes for an easier transition to go from kitchen to dining table if you're cooking for the family. One other thing I want to mention on pop-ups, like in travel trailers and fifth wheels, people go absolutely bonkers for windows. 360 degrees of this thing can open up and have airflow, visibility, or privacy. That's a really, I think, underappreciated quality on pop-ups, especially one like this. This doesn't have an air conditioner. It has, though, a uh, you might have noticed that big, large 12-volt fan up top here to keep some air cycling through. So you open those side things, you get some breeze rolling through. You can keep it fairly decent in here. Um, I, we would need to do a little investigating. Some pop-ups are made roof air capable. Some are not. I, without being a dealer of this product, I don't know their exact structural specifics. That's something if you are curious about AC, we can look into and get you quotes for. Now in different RVs, there's certain things I look for. And whether it's hybrids or pop-ups, the first thing I do, I start eyeballing the bed ends. Are they 
faded, snagged, uh, molded, stained. And no, no, they're not. This thing is, it is looking all but factory fresh, frankly. I don't know that the awning's ever been used. There's that storage access below the sofa right there with a propane cooker hooker down below, and the propane cooker ain't never been used. Look at this thing. That is still brand new and gleaming. It hasn't even seasoned. Not that you necessarily season a grill the way you would something like a griddle, but you get the idea. Uh, they, uh, <laughs> like everybody, when you first get a new camper, you end up with a collection of Amazon boxes, and they used one of them to store a couple things, wheel chocks, that is a, uh, a tongue, uh, trailer tongue jack wheel, basically, so you can move it around by hand if you have it parked in a garage, which is cool because pop-ups are so small, you know. Now, you see that little uh, bit adapter. There's a manual crank for our stabilizer jacks, which, by the way, it has four stabilizers. That's something where this is, again, superior to a lot of pop-ups. It has front and rear corner stabilizers, but if you want to go NASCAR pit crew, you can just hook that right up to a drill and be good to go. Now, this is something that originally Coleman had exclusivity on, the stepper door, because that actually folds up to become our travel door. And you notice how we have a full one-piece entry door, which is way easier to get in and out of if you're a little bit bigger, like adult-sized versus kid-sized. Because when you're walking out, a stepper door's handle would be down by your shins, and now it's not, you know? And now you don't have to store that door anywhere else. But when Coleman kind of stopped making pop-ups, they lost their exclusivity on that thing. We've got a front storage trunk here. We kind of saw it from the inside, but you can still get to it from the outside, uh, even when that lid up top there is blocked off by the uh, the bed end that is, you know, obviously directly in front of us right here. Now, both front and rear beds are, uh, again, blemish-free as far as it goes. Uh, I can't find any scars, dings, or bangs. Now, uh, I talked about that little wheel that goes on the tongue jack right there. One of the cool things about these, they're so small, you can fold them up like a suitcase. You could put it in the corner of a garage or a barn or something like that, throw a tarp over it, bring it out when you're ready. You know, you pop-ups tend to really, if you do that, you keep them out of the sun, they tend to last a long time just because they, you know, don't get a lot of weathering on them. The uh, uh, front corner, it's not a full pass-through trunk because up front we do have a water heater, which I think is a really important thing to point out on a little pop-up right uh, like this, right next to the outside utility shower. So it doesn't have a shower inside. There's room for a porta potty in that one cabinet if you have a little late-night emergency, maybe a little IBS attack or something like that. Or kids, man, I, I swear, I, I swear, no matter how hard you sleep, the, the harder you're sleeping, the more likely it is your son or daughter needs to use the potty at night. And they need to tell you that they need to do it. Uh, one of these days, I want to treat my daughter the way she treats me, and I want to wake her up at four in the morning just to tell her that I only have one sock on. What do you think? Pretty sharp, right? As far as pop-ups go, that's why I said I think that's one of their my personal favorites. They're actually something I've been eyeballing down the line, potentially bringing in at Haylet RV. They they have uh, they've held a lot of uh, respect for me over the years, anyway. I mean, grills never been used. Uh, maybe maybe one of the beds has been used once or twice. I guess the folks went out a time or two and just said, I don't know, maybe pop up and ain't quite for us. So give us a call. Hitching, financing, parts, pieces, all that stuff, whatever you need, we'll get you covered. So take care, stay safe, have fun. Remember to hit that subscribe button, everyone.